Yes, Suzanne takes you down. Leonard Cohen was already a respected poet and novelist when his music career began in the 1960s. Pop music was being taken seriously for the first time, and Cohen would turn his hand to anything. I mean, if someone offered me a building to design now, uh, I'd, I'd take it up. If someone offered me a, a small country to govern, I'd, uh, I'd take it. You know, anything, anything going, I'd like to try. Contemporaries like Joni Mitchell became chart superstars, but fame didn't interest a man described as the dark eminence of his generation. And then leaning on your windowsill, he'll say one day... You're... Tough luck, buster! In the 80s, he fell out of favour with the punk and new wave crowd who found him depressing. It might as well be a Leonard Cohen record. <laughs> but fans, including the throng of artists who covered him, knew that Leonard Cohen could take you to the depths of depression and the heights of ecstasy in the same song. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Jeff Buckley's version of Hallelujah made it a song everyone knew. The songwriter's own version was initially rejected by his record company, but the covers helped propel his career for another two decades. Oh, it's incredibly sad. I mean, he's one of the, the greatest heavyweight songwriters in the world, and it's been such a sad year uh, for just the loss of so many epic musical maestros. Us. We take Manhattan. Now he's set for another career boost. Like David Bowie and Prince, death will inevitably introduce his work to new listeners. And the dark, poetic vision of Leonard Cohen, for some, could be the modern soundtrack for troubled times. <laughs>